All right, YouTube, so Paul Bates here and Daisy, and uh, today, day 14, uh, day 13 in the books, now we're uh, day 14, keto, just a bad weekend, and uh, one of my reasons is, is because Bev decides to buy me Ultra Light, uh, and it's a weakness that I have, I love uh, beer, um, and uh, so I told her no more, don't buy it anymore, because it just I have a beer and then I want a piece of chocolate, and today I did the same thing I did yesterday. So keto, it's just trashed. Anyway, not bad though. I gotta do it every once in a while. I can't be perfect all the time, and uh, you know it's part of uh, it's part of it. It's part of life. It's part of everything. Markets closed today. Crypto's down a little bit. I've noticed a little pattern. Uh, you know, since uh, you know this last year, I've started trading uh, cryptos and uh, and again I don't trade them I'm not in and out of the cryptos I strictly buy the ones that I want um, I'll share them with you guys one of these days uh, the ones that I'm in and I uh, buy I just buy them for the long-term hold I'm not a I, I don't I'm not a day trader I don't try to make a quick buck on them and and they're down right now they're just they're just down so bad anyway so but I did notice the market's down a little bit today, so not bad though. It, it, it's not horribly bad. Um, made my video, no walks with Daisy, so I took this weekend off, and I think it helped my feet. I have one of the problems with my right foot, so it, it's, it's helping a little bit, let it heal a little bit. So, but Bev took Daisy for a nice long walk today, so that was awesome. We're getting our trucks ready for New York here. I'll show you a picture. Starting to, uh, they're starting to get loaded up here, and tomorrow our first trucks start to head to New York. So super proud of that, uh, of all the guys and the team that we put together at last minute to uh, get this project done. And then uh, maybe uh, we're out of work, you know, Wednesday-ish, but we'll see. Maybe they'll buy some more. I don't think we made any money on the project, so I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see. It'd be nice if it kept us busy for another couple weeks. Uh, slowly. I mean, dead slowly. I'm just pushing that troller thing right in Bev's ear, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, well, I'm, I'm working on it. I am working. I'm gonna work it like a, you know. I'm gonna work it hard. Anyway, slowly, slowly, slowly. Because if something happens right now in this market here, I can start to see it uh, crumbling a little bit. I can start to see like the housing market today. I've got a thing from my realtor. And the houses, people are starting to slash the prices on their houses. Well, some people can do that, and some people can't. The people that can do that are the people, you know, with lots of equity in their house that didn't uh, sit here and refinance it and refinance it and refinance it, and didn't pull all their equity that, of money they didn't have. I didn't do that, so it should be all right. Should be able to sell the house here after this coronavirus thing, but I don't know. I, I don't really care. I can sit here the next 10 years and, in this house, we're fine, we're comfortable. It's a small house payment. You know, if I could go work at Walmart, I could do it if I had to and make this house payment. We just tighten up our belt, you know, make it happen. But anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. I have enough cash sitting in reserve that we could, we could, uh, you know, we could make it a year or two without even, without one of us having to work. So we'll see. Hopefully that doesn't come to that. Hopefully my job will uh, continue and we'll be able to, you know, I think it's going to be a little bit of a long haul with my job because uh, we're extremely, you know, this exhibit business is, it's not going to come back for a little while. I mean, I was told uh, yesterday or the day before <coughs> that the Javits, sorry, that the Javits Center is going to be uh, closed for six months. So, you know, that's a little bit of a stretch. And so if we're not back doing exhibits in six months, oof, I don't know. We could build these wall panels, but for how long and for who? Do you, you know, like California, all the big cities might need them, but who knows what's going to happen. I'm not, I'm not counting on any of it, I can tell you that right now. But the big thing is, this whole thing, you know, I think, like I said, I can see the economic part of it. I can start to see it crumbling a little bit. I can, today, I got an email from my broker. And you know that there people are starting to drop the houses at their the price of their house. We listed this house, uh, you know, a month and a half ago. Haven't had one person look at it, and we dropped the price already forty one thousand dollars. So that's a lot of money, you know. So you know whether we get any interest in it, uh, I don't know. It's 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 tough. It's going to be a tough. It's it's going to definitely be a buyer's market here. 
uh, for the next uh, probably six months. Anyway, this week in the market, I'm gonna free up some more cash. I've just already put it in my head here. I wanna walk into this uh, next little buying spree that I do, and it'll be over the next three months to say as much cash as I can. And in my Fidelity account, I wanna try and uh, have about $30,000, $35,000 in cash there. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll start that uh, Monday, Tuesday, you know, I'll just kind of look at the market and gauge it. And it's all relative, you know, the losses are relative right now. It's, they're, they're gonna be minimal over the next couple of, of weeks. And I'd like to be sitting on uh, some, you know, some strong stocks when this market turns around and it will turn around. Anyway, Paul Bates, peace out. Paul and Daisy, we love you guys. Day 14. Uh, back to work a little bit, and I got the three more days of it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Folded metal just kicking ass during this whole thing. It's just killing me, man. We just sold uh, two clutch liners. Got another project going. Incredible, and I think it's going to sell like hotcakes. Our, uh, our, our radio brackets, they're just, we sold them all week long. It's just incredible. So anyway, shout out to all you guys. Thank you, uh, Folded Metal. Dot com just doing phenomenal uh, in these uh, economic times and uh, you know I just love it anyway peace out Paul Daisy anyway we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow good luck bye and don't forget to practice your uh, social distancing I think it's very very important in these times